This is Kelly. She's a four-year-old golden retriever. Kelly, say hi to the kid. She's camera shy. But she came in and she's got blood seeping under her skin and bruising herself. Huh? She's bruising. And you can see it the best on her belly. So I'm going to see if we lay down, Kelly. Lay down. This is how we lay down it. We make gowns lay down. See, and then she says, okay. And then we're going to just go like this, Kelly. We're going to lift up your little leg. See? And you're going to lift up your tail. It's a good girl. So you see, see right here? See how it's all purple? And you can see those spots. See how she's got little bloody spots all over her abdomen? And then if you start looking under her hair coat, you can see she's also got a um, bruise there. She could bruise herself by playing, but this is called petechia. It's leaking of blood under the, under the skin. So also, let's look on, okay, gal, come up here for a minute. Good girl. And then you can see, if you look in here, see right here? You can see it. Okay, that's a good girl. No, you can't go. Let's see if you can see. There was a, another one I spotted. I spent a lot of my day doing this, looking for things. Here's one. See, see that brown spot right there? So she's oozing blood um, under her skin, out of her blood vessels, and it's making blotchy purple stuff. And but she looks like she doesn't care because she looks like she's not in trouble, she's not critical, but we gotta find out why she's using blood. So we're gonna do various tests, draw some blood, we're gonna do what we call a coagulation panel, we're gonna do a blood panel that checks her white blood cells and red blood cells, and we're also gonna do a test for ehrlichia that uh, is a, causes dogs to bleed like this. And, um, and also we're going to look at the cells under the microscope. And we're going to send in a, a, a test for Coombs, which tests for an autoimmune, autoimmune bleeding disorder. And now she's put her head down again. I hope it's nothing bad. What do you think? You want to go home? Yeah. So we're going to take some blood from cute Cali from the jugular vein. We're going to put out all the vials and we need for the various tests and we hold off the jugular vein and insert the needle above it where we can fill it. It feels pretty big and uh, with a little redirection usually we can readily get a good sample. So the, the blood work looks good, the, the blood sugar, the kidney enzymes, the liver enzymes, and the electrolytes all look right in the center. They're not too low and not too high. Uh, the thyroid's normal, right in the middle, and and the ehrlichia is normal. She's negative for Lyme's disease, she's negative for heartworm disease, the ehrlichia and anaplasmosis are all negative. The red blood cells are in the normal range, so she's not anemic from the bleeding. Hematocrit's normal, which means she has a normal level of blood cells. But if you look down the page, you can see instead of 148 to 484 platelets, she's got low platelets. So what all that means is that the body is destroying the platelets that stop the blood from oozing out. And you can see the Here's a diagram of the artery with the white blood cells and red blood cells. The red blood cells uh, carry oxygen, the white blood cells fight infection, and the platelets stop the blood from leaking out. But in this case, the white blood cells and the antibodies are destroying the platelets faster than the body can produce them and causing the levels to dangerously drop. If you look under the microscope, you'll see the platelets as little tiny purple blotches next to the red disc-shaped red blood cells. And in Callie's case, uh, the, the, after a week of prednisone, the bruising s started to fade. So that means that those platelets next to the red blood cell in the diagram are increasing in number and that Callie's not, now not bleeding out under the skin like she was. We have run prednisone at a moderately high dose in order to stop the bleeding. 
if we look at a red blood, not red blood cells, I'm sorry, but if we look at the platelet numbers, they started out at 15,000 on the far right, then they went up over 100,000, and now they're up over 200,000 with the prednisone medication. What that means is the prednisone is doing its job. We usually can have to use pretty high levels for a few months, and then what happens is we can back down on it over several months. We're also using a drug called melatonin, which also helps the body. It's more of a natural drug that helps the body modulate the immune system to make it stop attacking itself. We use that in immune-mediated problems where the body attacks its red blood cells. And so also I'm using it in this case where the body's attacking its platelets. Anyway, well, uh, if you have a chance, check out Dog Dish Diet. Um, it's dogdishdiet.com. I wrote a book about feeding your dogs a better diet, also home cooking for your dogs and cats. And I have a new book coming out called The Dog Diet Answer Book, which I'm really excited about. It's, update dog di it's an updated dog dish diet. It tells you a lot of really practical information, stuff I've learned over the years to really help dogs avoid allergy problems like itchy skin, itchy anal glands, itchy ears without going through all the medicine and medical treatments. Have a great day.